Pregnancy, a time of joy and anticipation can sometimes take an unexpected and potentially dangerous turn. While most pregnancies progress without major issues, complications can arise that require immediate attention. An ectopic pregnancy is one such complication that demands immediate medical attention. This condition is not only rare but also potentially life-threatening if not addressed promptly. It's crucial for women of childbearing age to understand this condition, as timely intervention is paramount for safeguarding their health and future fertility. Awareness and education can make a significant difference in outcomes. An ectopic pregnancy occurs when a fertilized egg implants outside the uterus most commonly in the fallopian tubes. This abnormal implantation prevents the embryo from developing properly. This is a serious medical condition because the fallopian tubes are not designed to support a growing embryo. The limited space and lack of necessary nutrients make it impossible for the pregnancy to continue normally. If left untreated, an ectopic pregnancy can cause the fallopian tube to rupture, leading to life-threatening internal bleeding. This can result in severe pain, shock, and even death, if not treated immediately. Understanding the causes, risks, and symptoms of ectopic pregnancy is vital for early detection and treatment. Common symptoms include sharp abdominal pain, vaginal bleeding, and dizziness. This knowledge empowers women to make informed decisions about their reproductive health and seek prompt medical care when necessary. Early diagnosis and treatment can prevent serious complications and preserve fertility. Let's delve deeper into the intricacies of ectopic pregnancy, exploring the factors that contribute to its development and the steps women can take to protect themselves. By staying informed, women can better navigate their reproductive health and ensure safer pregnancies. In a normal pregnancy, the fertilized egg travels down the fallopian tube and implants in the uterus, where it has the space and nourishment to grow. However, in an ectopic pregnancy, the fertilized egg implants outside of the uterine cavity, creating a dangerous situation. The fallopian tubes, delicate structures connecting the ovaries to the uterus, are the most common site for ectopic pregnancies. Other potential, though less frequent locations include the ovary, cervix, and even the abdominal cavity. These areas lack the capacity to accommodate a developing fetus and cannot provide the necessary environment for a healthy pregnancy. The journey of a fertilized egg from the ovary to the uterus relies on the intricate workings of tiny hair-like structures called cilia that line the fallopian tubes. These cilia play a crucial role in propelling the egg toward its destination. Think of cilia as miniature escalators gently guiding the fertilized egg along the fallopian tube. Their synchronized movements ensure the egg reaches the uterus, where it can safely implant and develop. However, certain conditions can damage or impair the function of these delicate cilia. When this happens, the fertilized egg may not be transported effectively, increasing the likelihood of it implanting in the fallopian tube or elsewhere outside the uterus. One significant risk factor for ectopic pregnancy is pelvic inflammatory disease, or PID. PID is an infection affecting the female reproductive organs, often caused by sexually transmitted infections like chlamydia and gonorrhea. When left untreated, PID can lead to inflammation and scarring in the fallopian tubes. This scarring can obstruct the tubes or damage the cilia, hindering the egg's journey and increasing the risk of an ectopic pregnancy. Section 5. Other Contributing Factors Past Pregnancies and Surgery Previous ectopic pregnancies also heighten the risk of future occurrences. Women who have experienced one ectopic pregnancy are more susceptible to another. Similarly, certain surgical procedures involving the fallopian tubes can elevate the risk. For instance, tubal ligation, a form of permanent sterilization, can sometimes lead to complications that increase the likelihood of an ectopic pregnancy, particularly if the procedure was performed to treat a previous ectopic pregnancy or if the woman is younger. Section 6. The Impact of Smoking on Ectopic Pregnancy Risk The choices we make can significantly impact our health, and reproductive health is no exception. Smoking, a known risk factor for various health problems, also plays a role in increasing the likelihood of ectopic pregnancy. Cigarette smoke contains harmful chemicals that can damage the fallopian tubes, affecting their ability to function correctly. Studies have shown that women who smoke are at a higher risk of experiencing an ectopic pregnancy compared to non-smokers. This risk increases with the number of cigarettes smoked daily and the duration of the smoking habit. Section 7. 
Recognizing the symptoms, early detection is key. Timely detection is crucial in managing ectopic pregnancy effectively. The earlier the condition is identified, the better the chances of minimizing complications and ensuring a safer outcome for the patient. Recognizing the symptoms early on allows for prompt medical intervention, potentially preventing serious complications. Early intervention can make a significant difference in the treatment process, often leading to less invasive procedures and a quicker recovery. While some women with ectopic pregnancies experience no symptoms initially, others may exhibit warning signs that warrant immediate medical attention. Common symptoms include abdominal pain. This pain may start on one side of the lower abdomen and can range from mild cramping to sharp, stabbing sensations. It's important to note that this pain can sometimes be mistaken for other conditions, making awareness and vigilance crucial. Vaginal bleeding, abnormal bleeding which may be lighter or heavier than a regular period and may be accompanied by clots, is another potential sign. This bleeding can often be confused with a menstrual cycle so understanding the differences is key. Shoulder tip pain. This seemingly unrelated symptom can occur due to internal bleeding irritating the diaphragm, which shares nerves with the shoulder. This type of pain is often overlooked but can be a critical indicator of an ectopic pregnancy, weakness or dizziness. These sensations can indicate internal bleeding, especially if accompanied by other symptoms like abdominal pain and abnormal vaginal bleeding. Feeling faint or lightheaded should never be ignored, as it can signal a serious underlying issue. If you experience any of these symptoms, especially if you suspect you might be pregnant, it is crucial to seek immediate medical attention. Prompt action can be life-saving and can significantly improve the prognosis. Early detection is vital for ensuring the best possible outcome. By being aware of the symptoms and acting quickly, you can help protect your health and well-being. Section 8. Diagnosing and Treating Ectopic Pregnancy Diagnosing an ectopic pregnancy involves a combination of methods. It is crucial to identify an ectopic pregnancy early to prevent complications. The first step often includes a detailed review of the patient's medical history and symptoms. Common symptoms may include abdominal pain and vaginal bleeding, which can be mistaken for other conditions. Doctors typically start with a pelvic exam to assess for any tenderness or abnormalities. This physical examination helps in identifying any unusual masses or pain in the pelvic region, which could indicate an ectopic pregnancy. An ultrasound scan is then used to visualize the uterus and fallopian tubes, confirming the location of the pregnancy. Transvaginal ultrasound is particularly effective in providing a clear image of the reproductive organs, helping to pinpoint the exact location of the ectopic pregnancy. Additionally, blood tests are conducted to measure the levels of human chorionic gonadotropin, or HCG, a hormone produced during pregnancy. These tests are essential because HCG levels can provide critical information about the progression of the pregnancy. In an ectopic pregnancy, HCG levels may rise more slowly than in a normal pregnancy. Monitoring these levels over time can help doctors determine the likelihood of an ectopic pregnancy and decide on the appropriate course of action. Treatment for ectopic pregnancy depends on several factors, including the location of the ectopic pregnancy, the woman's overall health, and whether the fallopian tube has ruptured. The goal is to remove the ectopic tissue to prevent complications while preserving the woman's fertility as much as possible. In some cases, medication can be used to stop the growth of the ectopic pregnancy. Methotrexate is a common medication used for this purpose, as it helps to dissolve the pregnancy tissue without the need for surgery. This option is typically suitable for early-stage ectopic pregnancies, where the fallopian tube has not ruptured. Close monitoring is required to ensure that the medication is effective and that the pregnancy is resolving as expected. However, surgery is often necessary especially if the fallopian tube has ruptured or there is a risk of rupture. Surgical intervention is crucial to prevent severe complications such as internal bleeding and damage to the reproductive organs. Surgical options may involve removing the ectopic pregnancy while preserving the fallopian tube, known as salpingostomy, or removing the affected fallopian tube, known as salpingectomy. The choice of procedure depends on the extent of the damage and the patient's future fertility plans. Both procedures aim to ensure the patient's safety and well-being. Section 9. Seeking Support, You Are Not Alone. The experience of an ectopic pregnancy can be emotionally challenging, evoking feelings of grief, loss, and anxiety. It is crucial to remember that you are not alone and that support is available to help you navigate this difficult time. 
Talking to your partner, family and friends can provide emotional support and understanding. Additionally, support groups and online forums dedicated to ectopic pregnancy can offer a safe space to connect with others who have gone through similar experiences. Seeking professional counseling or therapy can also be immensely beneficial. Mental health professionals can provide coping mechanisms and strategies for processing the emotional toll of an ectopic pregnancy. Remember, prioritizing your emotional well-being is just as important as addressing the physical aspects of this condition.